views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome. It's so great to be talking with all of you. I'm Dr. Pat. You're listening to Dr. Pat Show Transformation Talk Radio, and I am so thrilled about today's show. You know, I mean, I am, I sit sometimes and I wonder and I really think about, uh, as especially as I'm preparing for each show, I think about how truly blessed I feel to be able to bring people like Nomi to all of you. Nomi Behar is joining me here today, holistic spiritual counselor and a self-healing, self-actualization expert. You know, she's the founder and director of the White Cedar Institute for Expanded Living, creator of Gates of Power Method, which we'll talk about today. Gates of Power is a holistic, comprehensive method. And, you know, by the way, you know, the message behind all of that is actualize your true self not actualize your pretend self or your imposter self or your something other than your hoping to be self and this is what i love today you know nomi is you know dedicated to the art and craft of human growth transformation trained in psychodrama gestalt bioengenetics primal therapy but most importantly, the author of Gates of Power, Actualize Your True Self. Today, I want to make sure all of you write down the website, and I'm going to keep mentioning it as we go, because uh, we have a special, special, just an incredible gift from Nomi today. You're going to get a free 30-minute consultation, and we'll tell you more about that. But you can find out more at Gates of Power. Today's show, The Art and Craft of Being Your Own Healer, but talking about what that means. Uh, Nomi, thank you for joining me here today. You know, I love this topic, and you and I were talking before we came on about the underpinnings of this being self-esteem. I would love for you to talk with us about self-esteem, what it is and what it isn't, because I think it's one of those terms that we clearly don't understand fully. (laughs) Right, (laughs) right, right, right. Um, I think to to, to explain it in a very, like, down-to-earth way, is to say that when we are born, <clears throat> we are, <clears throat> wow, my voice is gone. <laughs> I'll help you out here. <clears throat> we are, we are, we're born, we are like very much our emotional self. Yeah. We are loving, we are reaching out, we are soaking in whatever is coming our way. And then we get some blows. Mm. That emotional self, that purity, that innocence um, gets gets reactions, gets all kinds of things from people around. And we start closing up. And we, as little people, um, we can't think that there is something maybe out there, like maybe mommy mm. is very strapped. And, and anxious. Maybe daddy is uh, fighting for survival. We, we can't think that. We can't know that. because We don't have an expanded vision of life at that point. So all we can do is think that there is something not so good about me because mommy was yelling. Yeah. And daddy was very grumpy. And he wasn't talking to me. And I don't know what I did, but 
I must have done something or I must just don't know how to be or there's something maybe innately wrong with me. Oh. It's, it's just an emotional reaction. We don't know how to think or be about it any other way. And it becomes an interpretation and it becomes an internalized something is wrong with me, not good enough, something is lacking. And it's an emotional pattern, it starts as an emotional pattern. Then we create a defensive structure around it. Okay, I'm going to be really a great little girl. Yeah. And mommy is going to be happy or I'm going to be just, I'm going to get all A's and I'm, and daddy is going to be very part of me or whatever it is that we decide is going to be the trick to make us better in the eyes of the people that we love and that we need at that point. When mm -hmm. we're young, we need them. It's like we need their love. So uh, by the time we get to seven or eight, we have even forgotten that we have internalized that there is something wrong with me. Yeah. Now we're already operating on the defensive self, the survival self of I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to be excelling. I'm going to be whatever it is that we decided is going to cure it. You know? Yeah. And now we walk on to life operating from this. Just like you said before, when you started, the false self, the, uh, there's a lot of names to that structure. I call it the defensive self, the false self, the pretend self, the mask, the coat of armor, whatever it is that we want to call that. That's something that we've constructed and we forget and we are not in touch anymore with the wound that created that. And now our whole life is based on not a true self, but this uh, defensive construct. That's the tragedy. Yeah. We and, you know, but, but doesn't that take us down the path? You know, you know, the tragedy of this is that it has consequences. You know, and when we say that's a tragedy, what we're talking about is not the not necessarily just the event, the thing that's happened to us, but how we then go off and either live our lives or don't live our lives. Right. Right. And it's not living. Go no. be there is not living. It's all one big effort to make myself be OK in the eyes of myself and in the eyes of everybody around me. That means that I am constantly not feeling that I'm okay because I'm, if I'm constantly trying to be okay, that means that I'm reinforcing that there's something not so okay. <laughs> you see? So right. we're living with a, a deep wound that's covered up but is there festering and a lot of effort, a lot of struggle to look good, to be right, to status to be be more beautiful to be more rich to be more famous to be excelling to be i don't know whatever it is it's a lot of effort yeah and it's it, not the right effort the organic effort that you know in our true self we also have an effort because we want we have visions and uh desires and heart desires and we want to make them come true so there is an effort that there too, but that's kind of an organic, uh, uh, if we can call it a uh, wonderful effort. Yeah, I heard something this morning and I'd love for you to comment on it. You know, I, I was listening to something in my car, audio something, and uh, I heard this this quote, this statement made, and it was something like, you know, it's not it's it's not a matter of, of life being too short. That's not it. It's not about life being too short. It's really a matter of us taking so long to begin. Right. <laughs> right. And I thought so I had to think about true. that. Isn't that an interesting little thing for your mind to do with that? Okay, wait a minute. Life. It's oh. not about life being too short. 
wow, it's about it's about yeah. me, all of us taking yeah. too long to actually begin our lives. And yeah. isn't that what we're talking about here as well? Yes, 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 yes. And that's why when we say this is tragic, this is what mm. we mean. Because three quarters of our lives or half of our lives, we're not even living in the realm of our true self. We're just trying to be, uh, trying, trying to whatever. And, 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 and <laughs> all the while, there is nothing wrong with us to begin with. It's just a very old interpretation of a child of five year, of a, of a five years old or four or six years old child us you know based on uh, a limited view of a little tiny person yeah yeah and you know but let's talk about this from you i mean i know we've got a lot to talk about we're going to take a short break but i want to talk about something really interesting and um, and what your thoughts are about this and that is this idea of self-criticism. You know, one of the things I watched, Nomi, as we were, you know, kind of reflecting back on our history and our time and our language is how we've now picked up language that really is, you know, language of criticism for ourselves. Like the term, duh, I just cannot stand that term. And mm-hmm. yet at the same time, what we're, what we're doing is literally criticizing ourselves, calling ourselves stupid or less than and Mm -hmm. not acknowledging that we're even doing it. It's become such a way for us. Let's take a short break and we come back. We're going to talk about what does that mean? How does self-criticism show up? How do we do it openly? And then how does it affect our sense of disconnection or connection, not just with ourselves, but ourselves, others, and the world, literally? What is it about us that will unplug faster than anything when it comes to our own self-criticism. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the show. Have you ever tried to make lifestyle changes but had difficulty following through? Imagine what it would be like to get up each morning with energy, clarity, and motivation to tackle the day. If you want to get past limiting barriers that are preventing you from living your best life, join holistic health and wellness coach T. Carrie Mitchell each month on The Dr. Pat Show. Or visit Lifestyle120.com today and start to receive the personal attention you deserve. Join the Pacific Northwest EFT Tappers at the 6th Annual Tappers Gathering March 19th at Bastyr University in Seattle. You will learn EFT applications, forge a strong community, and share healing stories. The event raises money and awareness for EFT tapping scientific research. Net proceeds go to our 501c3 nonprofit to further prove the efficacy of EFT. Bring your cards and information for a fun and inspiring day of networking. Visit nwtappersgathering.com or call 360-661-6877. Hey everyone, meet my friends at the Maca team. The ancient Inca root vegetable Maca is known worldwide for its huge array of health benefits. As a family-run company of true Maca specialists, the Maca team is here to bring you the best Maca the Peruvian mountains has to offer. Yellow Maca, used to promote endurance, vitality, fertility, hormone health, and much more is on sale now. I love it. Visit themacateam.com to order yours now. Themacateam.com. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk radio. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. 
Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author, has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit toolstoawaken.com today. Are you into it? For the month of April, take a picture in your Intuit apparel and post it on Facebook for all to see and receive a reading from Lynn Brown on your Facebook page of your prominent aura color and what it means for you. Make sure you tag Lynn Brown. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. It's great to have you tune us in and turn us on. Nomi and I are talking about, uh, you know, what is it that we can learn about self-esteem and how do we take that to the forefront? And we were talking about this before. uh, And I want to make sure everybody knows that one of the things you could do is go to uh, the website for sure. You can go to gatesofpower.com or you can send me an email at info at gatesofpower.com and just say, listen, I heard you on the radio and I would love to get a 30 minute free consultation. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, And and for those of you out there, it's gatesofpower.com. And we'll make sure you have plenty of information. Today's show is the art and craft for being your own healer. Part of that is understanding what gets in the way. But self-criticism is one of the things we talked about, you know, right before the break. And I wanted to ask you about this because don't we live really in a time and an era where social media is connecting us, digital is connecting us. And by the way, we're all being connected. We don't even know how we're harming ourselves. I would love for you to talk about that a little bit. Um, About how we're harming. Yeah, criticizing ourselves. talk about the criticism. Yeah. Now, how does that happen um we talked we talked before about how this little person that we begin the life you know like emotional little self uh gets gets bruised and begins to internalize that there's something not okay with us and then begins to develop this uh protective personality uh, to to try to gain some love and sense of security in life and all of that. Now, in that defensive coat that I'm talking about sits also a mechanism of self-criticism. And why? Because we need to hear that we should do better we should do different. You are not okay. Remember, you're not okay. And you've got to continuously shape up. That voice comes as part of the internalization that there is something wrong with us. I hope I'm explaining it clearly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, as soon as we turn against ourselves and thought that something was wrong, we needed a cop to remind us, so to speak. That's not nice because cops are, are good people. But we needed like this task master or whatever we want to call that critic self. We needed him to be flagging us, right? Mm hmm. And telling us that we're not okay, that's not good enough, not good enough, yet yet not good enough, look at you, to remind us to shape up. And that's part of our defensive mechanism. And it's horrible because actually it's like having an abuser sit yeah. right inside of yourself. Oh, yeah, it is. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the abuser that supposedly is protecting you from falling short. You should not fall short because you, you, you're you not okay anyway. So, you know, just watch it. That kind of, that kind of an, uh, energy. And we don't know it. It's not conscious. 
Yeah. But one of the things that I want to ask you about is, you know, part of what you're doing and the work you do and the webinars that you do uh, help people understand, you know, the idea uh, of how we can be more mindful about the way that we talk to ourselves and, and, and what it is that we can do differently. Because part of this is really in the foundation and support, or shall I say the reinforcement of those things you talked about earlier. You know, maybe some of those things that happened to us early on in life. And then we're kind of, you know, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy around them. Yes. And it's almost impossible to heal the wound itself when we're constantly reinforcing those wounds. Yes. And then like saying, this. see, I told you. Right, exactly. It's like jabbing the knife inside the womb. Now, that's why I, uh, when I did the first show, I started talking about the three aspects of the self. And I want to come back to it because it's a yeah. key you know, so you have your emotional self that, that's a very childlike, uh, full of emotion place inside of you. Then you have this survival self that has become overblown and, uh, you know, became very defensive structure. Um, so you have emotional self, defensive self. Now, without the third one, you are dead in the water. Because these two, the emotional one is wounded, the defensive one is a taskmaster, a critic, and a false way of trying to gain love in the world. So this doesn't look good, right? This is, this is two pieces of the self that are wounded. Uh, only the third part of you, the expanded yeah. self can make some healing happen. And this is the self-healing that I want to explain for a minute. In my training, I teach people to step into that element of themselves, the expanded self. It's the drop of God inside of you. It's the part of you that has compassion, wisdom, ability to witness, and ability to, to heal. A lot of people have little glimpses of that self uh, when they meditate or when they have spiritual experiences or when they're there for a friend or a loved one. But we don't have the training of taking that part of ourselves and using that directly to heal the emotional and the defensive. There yeah. is a disconnect you know, I see people that have been meditating for years. They come to me. They have a beautiful expanded self, but they have no idea how to use it to become an active healer to the two other ones, the two little ones, I call right. them, emotional and the defensive. They have no idea, even though they've developed it for 30 years, meditating very on spiritual journeys, uh, whatever but there is a disconnect. So I train people to become literally the inner parent, to take that piece of ourselves and turn the eyes inside because we can be really great friends or great parents to our loved ones, but we don't do it with ourselves. That's the missing piece. Yeah, And we do a lot of healing processes, inner dialogues, meditations, all kinds of things to teach people the parenting skills, how to heal themselves. The emotional self needs a lot of love to be put in that wound, a lot of true guidance. No, there is nothing wrong with you. It's something that you have assumed very, very early on. You know, that kind of like putting the good medicine in. And the defensive self needs a lot of reassuring and a lot of calming down because that part is hysterical. It needs to fix. <laughs> it needs to fix because there is this horrible thing 
here the emotional and I have to fix her and I have to make sure that nobody sees that she's horrible. You know, so they really are in a state of anxiety all the time. So you, you can imagine it's like having two little kid parts inside of yourself and you need to take your expanded self, the wisdom, the compassion, the, the healing abilities, because that self is directly connected to spirit. And, and learn some practical techniques, practical tools, how to heal the two other ones and bring them back to alignment, to wholeness. Yeah. Because does that make sense? Yeah. And one of the things that we're going to talk about when we come back from break is we're going to talk about the gates of power and where this fits in, you know, because, uh, you know, there's an expression, right? That, and I'm not sure how much I believe this, but to make the, to make a point, the expression is that, you know, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And, you know, every time I hear that, or every time I say it, I wonder to myself, is pain really inevitable? Is there another way? Is there something else, you know, that we can learn to, to create a place or, or an essence in life, a being in life that allows us to be fully expressed, have the emotions that we were always meant to have, but not let any of that get in the way of our power. We're going to take a short break when we come back. Uh, we're going to tell you about a biweekly free webinar uh, on Gates of Power. We're going to let you know about that. I'm going to make sure you have information on how you can get a 30-minute a, a consultation uh, and much more. For those of you out there, you want to find out more, go to gatesofpower.com. And when you go there, you're going to be able to, you know, say hi to, to know me. You're also going to be able to get a copy of the book, Facebook, Twitter, all of that information, phone number out there. If you want to contact Nomi directly, I'll make sure when we come back, we're giving you all of the above. Uh, author, visionary, speaker, and much more. Stay tuned. When we come back, get ready to tap into your full potential. Get ready to understand what it means to stay in our smallness and what Nomi has created to help us get the heck out of it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Song of the Heart, Walking the Path of Light, from author and healer Francine Vale is available now. Through Francine's life story, we learn how imperative it is to love one another. Once this simple truth is learned, peace on earth will prevail. Song of the Heart is a life lived and a story told for this purpose. To learn more about Francine and her amazing gifts, or to order your copy of the book today, visit angelsandlightbeings.com. Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pat. Many of you have heard me talk about the Lyme disease epidemic going on right now in the world. I want to tell you about my friends at Results RNA. They have now created an entire Lyme support system for immune system support, detoxification, rejuvenation, and neurological healing. Please visit ResultsRNA.com to learn more. And for first-time orders, you'll receive a special 10% discount. All you have to do is type in Dr. Pat at checkout. 
Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's great to have you uh, tune us in and turn us on. Thank you so much for joining us here today with all of you. I'm Dr. Pat, and my friend, my colleague is joining me here today. As I said before, listen, you know, Nomi is, of course, the founder, uh, creator, director of Gates of Power, Actualize Your True Self. And there's a reason. There's a reason for this conversation. And there's a reason for why this is important in t- today's day and age. Um, and, you know, part of that is uh, living for the sake of living. What does that mean? You know, I had someone say to me not too long ago, you know what, I'm just killing time till I die. And I thought, whoa, mm-hmm. well, how many of us are doing that? But, you know, we don't have to. We can work with Nomi. We can get ourselves activated, actualized. We can pick up our self-esteem and kick it in the butt and say, I am going to live an epic life. Nomi, tell folks uh, about the bi-weekly, the webinars you do, classes you offer, the seminars you give, and how people can work with you so that they can apply the gates of power in their own lives. Okay. So first of all, I, I, I work with people all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, I do Skype sessions and people do meditations, dialogue, everything, crying, everything, everything you can imagine on Skype. So we have wonderful sessions. Of course, people are in New York and want to come and see me personally. That's no problem. Um, individual sessions, as I said, open globally. Uh, Gates of Power is a full curriculum. It has seven levels, and uh, we run the workshops in New York City um, or upstate a little bit, and that all of that is on the on the website. Uh, level one we just did. We, we we're getting ready to do um, level two, and then we'll proceed to level three and such. And level one will come around again, probably around July. So just uh, going to the, to the website would give you all the details. We have a bi-weekly free one-hour webinar, which is like uh, an introduction to Gates of Power. Uh, I explain a lot of basic things, and you get a sense of it. And um, we are also in, in the process of creating our online course, It would be Gates of Power Online. It would be a seven-week online course that is coming in the future. But right now, if you are passionate, if you are ready to go, um, hot and ready, like to claim your life, to claim your power, to claim your passion and enthusiasm about life, then just either email me, info at Gates of Power, or call me. I do answer phone calls and the phone does ring and I do talk on the phone. I know it's becoming less and less fashionable, but it's here. 212-877-0346. You just have to say, I have heard you on radio. You will get a free half an hour consultation. And if you commit to three sessions, you will get 20% off which is about $75 off three sessions. So there's a lot of ways. Just move and reach out and take the opportunity. Yeah, 
and this is really the time to change. It is the kind of things that are happening in our lives, you know, to help us to not just survive because we're so used to surviving. You know, we're so used to being in, oh, I'm just going to get by. I'm just going to do that. But that's not how the gates of power work. Or that's, you know, certainly not how the gates of power method work. Because, no. you know, how do the gates of power, how does this help us make this connection we're talking about? How does it help us heal our wounded self-esteem? So here it is. So first of all, we learn to um, access and sit and be in our expanded self. Our expanded self is our spiritual self, is our power, is, is where we and divine connect. And we have to learn to situate ourselves there. To, to um, a good image is to just step, step into those big shoes because that, that is the truest part of us. And once we're there, we need the tools and the techniques and the processes to learn to start being proactive in the healing of our emotional self. You said before, um, pain is, how did you say that, Pat? Pain I said pain, is, yeah, yeah. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Right. The difference yeah. between pain, okay, pain, there is pain. But if you can embrace it and uh, release it, acknowledge it, feel it, and work with it, integrate it, it's gone. Suffering is when you do not attend to your pain. Then you create suffering. When you live from your defensive self and shut down your emotional self and put that part of you in the closet, that's suffering. So two different things. So in Gates of Power, first of all, we learn to be our own healer. We learn to be in those big shoes of our expanded self. We learn to love, embrace, and facilitate the emotional processes in our emotional self. We learn to take that kid in us and love it and love it and guide it and allow it to release the feelings, enjoy the feelings, and become that joyful um, little person inside of us. Mm. And we learn to take our defensive self, which is our survival self, it's another kid, but we learn to train them to be protective. Meaning, you know, in the, in the positive sense, protective like a survival part should be. Not hysterically running around trying to be what we're not. So that's yeah. a big difference. Well, there okay. is. And, and, you know, part, running around trying to be what I would like for you to talk about this, because I think this is the great illusion. You know, where sometimes we run around trying to be what we're not, because we think that's the safer, kinder, gentler way to be in the world. And ultimately, ult ultimately, don't you think what happens with that, at least my own experience is when I'm showing up as somebody that I'm not, what it does to me on the inside is so toxic and destructive that and it's like a slow burn right yes. so you know you can't yes. really you no, know no. feel it happening but all of a sudden Nomi I wake you waking up one day and you're thinking you're you gotta be kidding me what happened right you 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 kind of shriveled inside yeah burnt out because you have not been yourself I mean who is the one that really can love connect, be intimate, create, enjoy, laugh. That's your emotional when it's open. Now, if you shut that in the closet and you're running around trying to impress people, you are disconnected from yourself mm -hmm. and from life. How are you going to get that feeling of love, creativity, um, enjoyment, intimacy, where? It's it's locked in the closet. Yeah. So, yeah. no, that's why I'm saying. it's This is like operating that way 
is death. Emotional, spiritual, mental, physical death. Because you are not being who you are. Right. So, so the, the most important thing in Gates of Power is, first of all, liberating your emotional and healing the wounds there and, and supporting that part of yourself to be expressive, to be emotional if it needs, in, in ways that are constructive, obviously, to be enjoying life and so on and so forth to train your defensive, to be just protective, and to have all three of them work together for the good of the whole self, which, <sighs> is, which is you want to be in this life as a brilliant contribution to yourself and others. That's the goal of the self. So when they all work together and in a positive, constructive way, uh, under the leadership of the expanded self, then they can all just shine and mm -hmm. have a, have that expanded exuberance of of just being being a good energy in this life. Yeah, yeah, you know? but yeah, because now what we've discovered is energy is everything. Yes. Energy is everything. Yes. And yet sometimes, you know, I, and maybe we can talk about this. Um, uh, you know, what is it about us that we have sort of forgotten about what it means, Nomi, to stand up for ourselves? I want to talk about this when we come back from break. You know, when we're talking about gates of power, it's hard sometimes for, for folks uh, to even use the word power. I don't know if it's a gender issue or not. I don't know if it's something that men do better than women. But what is it right now that we are sensing uh, that could use some healing around us standing up for ourselves? Whether it's standing up in the relationship you have, the job you have, the boss you have, the insurance company you have that won't pay, or just simply living day to day and understanding what your empowerment quotient is. Let's take a short break. When we come back, nobody's going to take us on a journey of what that means and how does that help us, the energy of that? How does it help us heal or not? Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. There's something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Shine on Radio. Find your shine with Kelly is the show that celebrates what makes you, you. Join co-hosts Kelly Wadler and Dr. Pat Basili as they break down how to brilliantly fuel and move your body and love what makes you shine. Kelly is a professional arts and wellness coach dedicated to helping brilliant women find their confidence, energy, self-love, and shine. Tune in to Shine on Radio with Kelly and find your shine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. What is a master soul gardener? With Nomi Bahar, you can be one too. Her revolutionary Gates of Power method is a comprehensive program that addresses every aspect of yourself and gives you the tools to tend to the seeds of your soul's garden. Let Nomi guide you through and beyond what's holding you back and help you embrace the life you've always dreamed of. 
To learn more about upcoming classes and workshops, visit gatesofpower.com today. A word of caution. If you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Are you seeking a more deeply connected and fulfilling life? Do you often find yourself feeling overwhelmed, overworked, or exhausted? Are you ready to embrace a life filled with more love, connection, and joy? Best of the month list and five star rated on Amazon, Conscious Being by author TJ Woodward will awaken you to your true nature. To learn more about how to get your copy of Conscious Being, visit ConsciousBeingBook.com today. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. It's so great to have all you here. Um, I want to make sure that uh, everyone has the information that we're talking about. The best way to do it is you can certainly get a copy of the book, uh, Gates of Power, Actualize Your True Self. Nomi is going to provide you with some additional information about what the gates are and what that means. You can go to the website, gatesofpower.com. And as I said before, um, if you want to work with Nomi directly, you can get a 30-minute consultation. Just give Nomi a call at 212 877 0346 212 0346 and what you're going to be able to do with that is say listen I would like to get a 30 minute free consultation because I really want to live an epic life I don't want to suffer anymore and uh, boy just say I've heard it on the radio and you will be able to go from there uh, Nomi thank you for today and you know we were talking about the gates of power and how it helps us make this connection how it helps us heal and I, I think you and I were talking. You're going to take us through and kind of remind us what the gates are. Yes. And I think this would be a great time to do that. Okay. So um, I, I want uh, everybody out there to imagine that uh, you are a diamond. And uh, this is not really how diamonds are, but just for the, for the you know, for the symbolic reason. Um, a diamond and inside of it, in the center of it, there is your light. Your light has those two colors, the gold for your expanded self, the fuchsia for your emotional self, and the blue for your defensive self. And in an ideal situation, they all, all these uh, beautiful colors of the inner self are woven together, work together. And that diamond, has seven facets. Uh, the diamond is us, and our whole self has seven facets. Um, the gate of the body. The body is, is one way that the inner light is shining through. So that inner beautiful light in the middle of the diamond shines through the facet, through the gate of the body. Then you have the gate of emotions. Of course, our light shines through our emotions. Then you have the gate of dialogue, which is relationships with self and others. And how else? Of course, we shine through that. The gate of creative expression is the fourth gate. And that is gate of creativity, fun, playfulness, all the joyful things of life. Very important gate. Then we have the gate of life path. Why are we here? All the lessons that we're learning, all the important things that we're cultivating and our purpose, our contribution, that is our life path. Mm. And then we have the gate of silence, a beautiful gate, gate of meditation and prayer, the gate of being able to be still, to be, 
to find that oneness with the universe, to find that peaceful, unified field. And then we have the gate of knowledge. Every knowledge, be it uh, math or history or psychology or art, all the streams of knowledge move down to the sea of knowledge of life. So that is a gate that we always need to keep developing more and more heartfelt knowledge of things. So our inner self, if it's strong, exuberant, and all parts of the self are working together in harmony, that light shines through all the gates into the world and the light of the world goes in. But if our inner light is muffled and dim by defensive and false self, then all these gates slowly begin to close up and the whole self shrivels. So in Gates of Power, we first attend to the inner light. So all three parts of the self work together and become exuberant and full of energy, full of love, full of passion, good passion. And then we start opening all the gates. We have exercises and processes to open the gate of the body, to free the energy field, to free the muscles, to free and to just give the body whatever it needs to open up. And of course, we work with the gate of emotions to release hard, difficult, painful emotions, to integrate them and to create a sense of joy and a sense of, of spontaneity and enjoyment of life. Yeah. Gate of dialogue, we create a positive dialogue with ourselves first and then work on all the ground rules and ground rules maybe is not, but it's a good way of mm-hmm. saying skills, you know, skills for being intimate and loving, you know, the 10, I call it the 10 commandments of loving and empowering uh, intimate relationships. Intimate, I don't mean physical, but Mm -hmm. loving with with all beings, with all things. And opening the gate of creative expression, opening the gate of life path, being able to be in silence, the gate of silence, and loving to acquire knowledge and um, give knowledge. So these are the gates. And in my book, I explain each gate, uh, but more than that, I give exercises, I give case studies, stories, and you can get a sense of how you can begin to be your own healer in terms of opening up those gates. Those gates are like the limbs of your being, of your life, and you want to be able to take care of them. Because even if one gate is closed or two gates, you are not whole. You're going to feel it in some way. They're all connected. They're all interrelated. So buy the book because the book will explain better, give you exercises, give you case studies, stories. Uh, At the end of the book, there are stories of 10 people who've gone through the process. They speak. They tell the story in their own words. So it's it's really interesting. Yeah, it is. And I love the thing I love about this is that you've really made this very, very practical yet very powerful. And, you know, when we're looking at this, you know, especially I hope our next show we can talk about connecting you your to your personal purpose. Because I'm finding right now, Nomi, that people are really wanting to know why am I here? What am I here for? 
Yes. And there really is an answer. Nomi, thank you so much for today. Thank you, thank you, thank you thank for all you, that you Pat. do. Thank you. All thank right. you, everybody out there. You know, we've got lots more to come on Transformation Talk Radio, everyone. We're going to take a shorty right here. Go to TransformationTalkRadio.com. And thank you all. Take a look at what we're creating for our crowdfunding campaign at TakeBackTalkRadio.com. Take Back Talk Radio. We're going to be asking for your help in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. We'll see you next time. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.